Hello, I am Kim Miller from Woman at the Well Ministries, and I'm delighted that you have chosen to spend these next few moments with me as we share an angel gram. Today's angel gram is entitled Feathers from Heaven, and it's centered around the verse in Psalms chapter 91, verse 4. Good morning, my friend. Your day may have had a slow start, but it's bound to pick up soon. You're getting ready to spend time with the Savior of the world, the creator of the universe, your best friend, Jesus. Embrace the day with great anticipation. He has great things in store for you. The scripture in 91.4 says this, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Think about this verse. He will cover you with his gentle touch. Feathers are gentle and they're warm. They offer protection, shelter, and warmth to what they cover. God has told you he will cover you with his feathers. He has also said that as you abide under his wings, you can trust him to shield you from all your enemies. The truth he gives you will not only protect you, but will also bring down those who come against you. You have nothing to fear for his protection is with you and his truth goes before you, clearing your path. Angel to angel chat. Times may, see quite, times may seem quite rough right now or perhaps they will in the future. But don't forget you are under his protection he loves you and he wants what's best for you. Don't let the devil or any of his workers get you down. You are victorious through Jesus and no one can defeat him. Remember, God loves you. You are loved. Your key thought, you are under his protection. The world would want you to worry. And as trouble and trials come your way, the world would handle that with stress and anxiety. But the Bible says, let not your, trouble, your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. The Bible also tells us that we'll be anxious for nothing, but with everything, with prayer and thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The Bible also tells us to cast our care upon him. Why? For he careth. For you. You're not alone, my friend. You have a whole Christian family that cares about you. But more importantly, you have a Savior that died for you, that lives for you, and ever lives to make intercession for you. You are so loved. You are so very, very loved. Let us pray. Our kind and most gracious dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this another day. Lord, we thank you that you love us so much, and we thank you, Lord, that you care for us, and we thank you, Lord, that you don't leave us or forsake us, that you provide our every need, that you never sleep nor slumber, and that you've gone to prepare a place for us, that where you are, we may be also, and that you couldn't stand to be away from us, Lord, so you gave us the Holy Spirit to dwell in us, that we would ever be connected to you, that we would be able to hear your words and your guidance, that we'd be able to live a victorious life because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And I pray, Lord, that you remind me and each person who's listening to this that they are victorious because you are in them, that you've already won the battle, that they've read the back of the book and we win. Lord, I ask that you would give them hope and courage and strength, most of all, that they would feel your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.